From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Valley Neighborhood Forecast. Everything Medical has been your complete source for medical supplies since 2007. Our 10,000 square foot showroom has the largest selection of home medical equipment in the North State. We have what you need. Everything Medical, Athens Avenue, Reading. Well, good morning and welcome to Weather NorCal. Uh, I want to also thank Everything Medical. Of course, you saw their ad there. They have come on as a partner for Weather NorCal. What I mean by that is we have split up the entire Northern California area into six different neighborhoods. And they're, of course, including, of course, the Valley. The Valley is part of those neighborhoods as well. And Everything Medical has decided to pick up three of those neighborhoods as a major sponsor. And we certainly appreciate that. And of course, the Valley is one of those neighborhoods. So we're gonna talk about the forecast here, but the main focus is going to be the Valley. We may, I may mention the mountains here or there, but overall, if you live in the Valley and all you care about and what's going on in the Valley, this is the place for you to take a look at the Valley neighborhood forecast. All right, so here's the deal. We're gonna be looking at a slight chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm today and tomorrow. And this, of course, I'm talking about the valley, so the valley could see some activity. But I think overall, most of it's gonna be in the mountains. But we could see a stray shower kind of come off, especially the mountains to the west. Now, the first big heat wave of the season is expected to arrive. You may have been hearing about it even since last week, but it's gonna get pretty hot. Now, as of right now, I don't have us getting up to 110 degrees, but it could get close, especially by Saturday. But we look at the almanac here, and it's not uncommon right, for us to see these types of temperatures. Now, the high for today is expected to be around 92 degrees for Reading. We're looking at the Reading almanac. And the record, though, 114 set in 2021. So, I mean, 92 today, getting up to close to 110 not terribly unusual for us this time of the year. There's that trend. We're finally getting back in the triple digits and it's coming back with a vengeance. As I mentioned, close to 110 degrees by the weekend. But today, not the case. As I mentioned, about 92 degrees for Redding, a little bit cooler as you head south from Chico, with a high of about 89 degrees today. Now, there were some thunderstorms in the higher elevations yesterday. For us, we just saw some of the clouds uh, in response to all of that, but it stayed dry in the valley. But this is the overall trend. You see right here, this is what we call a trough of low pressure, and it's allowing the mild air to move in. That's also been responsible for the thunderstorms we've seen in the mountains, but even some of those over the last few weeks have made their way into the valley as well. Now, by Wednesday, that shifts eastward. So the chances for thunderstorms in the mountains diminish, and our temperatures start to increase because of this right here. We've got a ridge of high pressure and heat associated with it that will come in slowly for the rest of the week, it will peak on Saturday. Now watch what happens. We have some cooler air over the Gulf of Alaska that's gonna kind of ride to our north. That's not gonna come anywhere near us, but what it will do is help to kind of suppress that heat and allow our temperatures to drop slightly. This is not gonna be a major drop in temperatures as we go into early next week, but at least it's getting us away from 110 degree plus temperatures. So we take a look at the temperature outlook for July 2nd through July 6th. So we, again, you can see this big bubble of heat right here. You're getting those really deeper shades of reds. But if we look at the extended outlook for July 4th through July 10th, looking out even further, you can see we're getting less in the way of reds and more oranges. So this is an indication that yes, it'll still be hot. It'll still be above normal, but we're starting to see those temperatures begin to drop just a tad. So let's take a look at the future cast and we'll talk about the chance for rain in the valley. Here's today at five o'clock. See how some of the showers are trying to make their way on in, but for the most part, it's staying dry. Let's take you into Tuesday. Tuesday around 4 p.m. You see how we're seeing a lot of these thunderstorms developing to the west of us. And then we see what will happen is we'll see a big veil of clouds come over us. And it may look ominous tomorrow and it may look like it may even rain. And it, you can see right here, there's a chance that some of those could make their way into the valley. But then by 6 p.m., it's all gone. I mean, even though those storms have died out, most of the activity will be off to our east at that point. Now we take you into Tuesday night, it's dry. Now how about Wednesday? Now remember I was mentioning the thunderstorms are developing to our west? Not the case as we go into Wednesday. So I think our chances are even slimmer for a stray shower because it'll all be off to our east and even that won't be all that impressive. So here's your forecast for the valley. 
There you can see temperatures in the upper 80s, about 89 degrees for Corning, 89 degrees for Chico, and Durham about 87. There's your 7-day forecast for Chico. You see how temperatures are climbing. By Thursday, we're back up to 100 degrees or higher. We take you up to the north, a little bit warmer, probably somewhere in the low 90s, about 91 for the city of Shasta Lake, 92 for Redding, 91 for Red Bluff, and Palo Cedro about 91. Again, I have included just a slight chance for a stray shower, maybe, maybe, just maybe an off chance for a nice little thunderstorm, but it's just be aware of that. If you work outdoors, keep your close eye to the sky, but I think overall you should be okay. Wednesday through Friday, into the, this is what I was talking about, right? Saturday, you're getting close to 110 degrees. You're looking at the Red Bluff seven-day forecast there. Now let's take a look at the Redding seven-day forecast. And you can see about 92 degrees today, 94 on Tuesday. See how the temperatures are climbing? We're up to 104 on Thursday, 107 to close to 110 degrees by Saturday. And remember I was talking about a drop in our temperatures after Saturday? Not much though, still about 108 degrees on Sunday.